Hey, this is David, Arc Labs. So we're here today with Sam Chance, our welding program director. And the topic for today is rod ovens. More, more specifically, why do we put some rods in the oven and not others, okay? This is not something that you commonly might have at your home if you're a hobby welder, but we clearly have rod ovens here in the school and in industry. So tell me, why do we use rod ovens? Yeah, so this is a question we get a lot from some of our students starting out. Um, trying to figure out what type of rod they need to use when welding with shielded metal arc welding, um, also sometimes called stick welding. Yeah. Um, so we have two basic types of rods we use here at Arc Labs. We have 6010 and 7018. Um, 6010 are typically kept just in a box, open to the atmosphere. 7018s are the one that you would find in the rod oven. Uh, and 7018s are a really special rod because they're what we call low hydrogen rods or low hydrogen electrodes. So we put it into the rod oven to prevent it from accumulating hydrogen. Yeah. Why is that? Why is hydrogen bad? Yeah. So um, hydrogen um, in certain scenarios can cause cracking in your well, um, specifically hydrogen delayed cracking, um, which is a kind of phenomena where you may make a well, looks great. It's awesome. You leave the job site or your shop and you come back the next day and up to 24 or 48 hours after welding, that weld's now cracked. So you thought you had a good weld, come back and it's cracked. That, that seems very disappointing. What, what would, what, what's the circumstances that would cause it to crack? Is it just hydrogen or is there more to it? Yeah, so there's, there's a couple of pieces to it. Um, one of them's joint restraint. So how tightly controlled that weld joint is. Um, one of them has to do with like the actual material you're welding. So some materials are more prone to uh, creating a microstructure that tends to lend itself better to cracking. Okay, so I feel I feel a metal urgy lesson coming here. So we're going to do some separate videos on that later. I will say it's not obvious that hydrogen can get into a solid piece of metal. Like hydrogen is a gas. So how does that happen? Uh, when we're when we're welding, we're melting steel, right? So we're taking a solid steel and we're putting it into this um, liquid state. And during that welding process, hydrogen from the air and from our electrode and from the atmosphere can diffuse into that weld metal. So hydrogen, it's the smallest atom out there. Um, it has a tendency to diffuse into molten steel and form along the grain boundaries. And that's really bad because once that steel solidifies, that hydrogen has to go somewhere. And so it's trying to get out of that now solid steel. Um, and in certain circumstances with the right conditions, it can cause a crack. So you did a demonstration for us uh, that we can show you that proves that actually the gas can get into the metal. Do you want to tell us about this? Yeah. Um, so what I did here was I, I set up a little demonstration um, where I had one of our welding instructors, Tommy, here in Piedmont, uh, weld a couple coupons for me. Um, so he welded one with one bead of 7018 and one bead of 6010, and then also a coupon of all 6010. And what I've done is I put them in a jar of mineral oil. It's not mineral spirits. Mineral spirits is dangerous, um, but this is mineral oil. And what that does is it um, creates an atmosphere where we can actually see the hydrogen escaping and diffusing out of the weld panel. So, so I, I've already seen it, but I, this is really cool. You got to get closer and look, take a look at this. I mean, that is really amazing to see the gas coming out of the metal like that. It, it's, you, yeah, you wouldn't have thought that. So, and I think the, the, we showed some other people this demonstration as well, and I, everyone was a little bit surprised by this. Pretty cool. So, all right, so our students, we showed them this demo, and we show them how important it is to put certain rods in the oven. We tell them about putting the 7018, that needs to be in the oven. And for other reasons, the 6010 should not be. It's not, the, the answer isn't, just put everything to be safe in the rod oven because it will, it, it will, uh, I assume for the 6010, it will hurt the integrity of that, of that electrode. What should go into the rod oven? And yeah, well, really it's, uh, it's two things. One, it's just kind of memorizing that, um, 7018s are what go in the rod oven. They are low hydrogen electrode. They're really the only rod 
that you run into um, besides a couple other low hydrogen rods but they're not super common that go in the rod oven um, and then it also is uh, usually on your welding procedure so if you're out in the field and you have a welding procedure it will usually tell you that your 7018 electrodes need to either be fresh out of the can or in a rod oven that was at a certain temperature okay well there you go so if you have any questions for sam put them down in the comments and we'll try to get you a video uh, that answers your questions until then welders protect your rod We got to come up with a better ending. Protect your rod. <laughs> <laughs>